Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, this emotion causes men to ghost or pull away. It's this emotion, I'm kind of crying. <laughs> uh, this emotion causes men to ghost or pull away. Hey, really quickly, if you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can be notified of new content. I shoot about four videos a week and I'd love to invite you in to check out my content. Okay, our topic, this emotion is what caused men to ghost or pull away. And I'm gonna share something from my own personal experience. Um, my mother, who's a beautiful woman who passed away a few years ago, that's a picture of my mom and dad. I talk about them frequently. Um, but sadly, my mother had an emotional trauma in her childhood that caused her to act a certain way in adulthood. And this directly relates to how she raised, was raising my siblings and I, as well as her interaction with my father. And sadly, when my mother got upset with my father, with my brother, with my sister and myself, she would retreat inside of herself. She would retreat inside of herself. And literally for three solid days, it was the silent treatment at home. It was the silent treatment at home. If my father did something, it was silence to everybody. If my brother did something, it was silence to everybody. If I did something, there was silence, okay? Now I want you to imagine this. I'm a small boy, my brother as well, um, because my sister was grown and out of the house by the time I was aware of this. But I would recognize my mother would retreat. And as a boy, I took that as a sign of I did something wrong. I'm bad. I must do, I'm doing something to cause my mother not to give me love. Now, in all fairness to her, well, I'm going to get into her in a second. But so as a child, I couldn't trust love because there was always this kind of hot and cold thing coming from my mother. And the way I internalized it was, I'm bad, I'm wrong. And to make matters worse, I would be constantly thriving for attention. I would want attention. I would be like, mom, see me, see me, see me. I want your attention. I want your attention. If you're not familiar with the book Attached, I want you to check out what's, what to learn about love attachment style because I eventually became what's known as an anxious attachment style. My mother emotionally abandoned me and then my reaction was to chase love, to fight for love, to get attention. So now you're probably wondering where this relates to this emotion caused men to ghost and pull away. And I'm gonna to get to that for a second. First, I had to recognize that this abandonment wasn't my fault. Okay, wasn't my fault. And yet as a child, I thought it was my fault. So the emotion I was feeling is shame, is shame. So whenever I'm in relationship with someone and I'm even feeling a remote issue of shame, my natural reaction is to pull completely away and to disappear because I was so conditioned that I was bad that I would pull away. Now, at first I would be anxious and then I'd pull away. So there's a disorganized component to this. That's why in the book Attached, it goes into much deeper detail about this disorganized, avoidant and anxious attachment style. But I, I'm a train wreck and this is the root of this was shame. I had to go to the Hoffman process, and if you're not familiar with it, I talk about this frequently, the Hoffman process, to learn that my mother did this because that's how she was conditioned as a child. And while I don't absolve her of her actions, I don't have to blame her anymore. In fact, I can, after going through the Hoffman process, I can learn to lean into loving into my mother more because she didn't do this to intentionally hurt us. She didn't do this to intentionally hurt us. She did that because that's how she was programmed. And then eventually that got passed on to me. So how this relates to men is oftentimes when men ghost or disappear or pull away, it's because there's some underlying shame that they're not good enough going on inside of them. There's some underlying shame that, and for me, it took 50 years to get to a place of beginning healing of it. And I'm in this work. I'm, I do this work every day. It took, I mean, I've been doing this for a decade before I really got into the core shame. And I do this for a living. Imagine the average guy that barely does any personal development, self-help, and spiritual work. 
This is why I'm a big advocate for my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? Because it's an introduction to personal development, self-help, and spiritual work. In fact, I talk about the Hoffman process in my book because I had to learn to love on myself. In fact, at the Hoffman process, they did this great exercise where I left feeling like I was wrapped in a blanket of self-love. It felt so wonderful to feel this blanket of self-love instead of this shame I was feeling, this emotion of shame. And sadly, a lot of men feel this emotion on shame on a subconscious level. They may not think of it on a conscious level, but on a subconscious level. So just recognize that while most men, most men are good guys and most men are bad daters because they have unresolved childhood wounds and traumas or adult traumas that haven't been addressed and that makes them flaky, wishy-washy, ghosts disappear, pull away, pull back. They're not doing it to hurt you. They're doing it because they're afraid to lean into love. I'm all about leaning in. You don't lean back into love. You lean into love. And that's my invitation. So this video is only about understanding and compassion. Look it. I get it. You're with a guy whose actions are inconsistent. Then don't be with that guy. And don't pander to him hoping that something will change. If you watch any of my videos, I'm all about empowering yourself. Step into your empowerment. It's not divine feminine power. It's your power just like it's my power. It's not labeled masculine feminine. It's labeled empowerment. <laughs> and I'm flexing my muscles, you know, however you wish to demonstrate. How, by the way, do me a favor, post a comment below. How do you demonstrate your own empowerment? Me, I do this. I'm empowered. I'm a victor in life, not a victim in life. We don't have to label it masculine and feminine. We're just talking about personhood, your individual power. Because look at, you most likely have your own shame going on in your life. And it takes a lot of courage to step into it. It's not masculine, it's not feminine, it's just you. That's all that matters. Step into your power. And if you need help with that, then read my book or schedule a discovery call to see if working with a coach is right for you. That's my whole gift in life is helping you vet those men who are stuck and also helping you get unstuck so you can attract those guys that are ready for a relationship and to help you become ready for a juicy, delicious relationship leading to partnership. And that's my invitation for everyone to choose that kind of relationship that leads to partnership. All right. If you got a question, please post it below. If you have a comment, please post it below. And I'm gonna wrap up this video today as I always do. First off, giving myself a big gigantic Jonathan Bear hug. I'm gonna give you a hug of love. I'm gonna ask you to turn to someone and give them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. Thanks so much and wishing you a fabulous day. Bye-bye now.